What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome to my second last episode of my FIFA 15 Manchester United career mode. It's the second last episode of Season 4. Now, in today's episode, we have two matches, and boy oh boy do we have two matches, two big fucking matches against Real Madrid in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Now... Ah, of all the teams to draw in the semi-finals have to be Real Madrid. Barca probably nearly would have been worse, but I think Real Madrid is worse. We are going to be facing our former player Cristiano Ronaldo and Marco Royce. Obviously, Robert Lewandowski and uh, Gareth Bale will be as well. Now, I did actually switch David Alba back to the left-back position because... Obviously, uh, he's been playing well as a cam, but I think I needed him more as a left-back in this match against Real Madrid because I can't afford to lose it or lose any any fucking points at all. But the other semi-final going on is against Atletico Madrid and AC Milan, which I found is quite interesting. Oh, and Marquisio. I forgot. They're actually still playing Marquisio. <laughs> As if. That's absolutely ridiculous. So they are fielding Ronaldo, Royce, and Marquisio. And uh, I forgot that I sold him. I ended up selling him and actually buying, um, what's it called? Falcao, which has gone alone to PSG. But we nearly start off the scoring here in the form of Wayne Rooney's header. Benzema on the ball, fires at Courtois, but Real Madrid hit the post as well. Robert Lewandowski through on goal, manages to hit it at Casillas, was lucky not to nutmeg him there. But the shot went wide. Neymar on the ball with a couple of scoop turns. He finds Robert. The first shot gets blocked. De Bruyne's shot gets over hit. <laughs> but Robert, one-on-one -on -one with Casillas, jumps over the Real Madrid player and scores against his former side to put United 1-0 up in the 60th minute. Real Madrid was so fucking hard to break down in this match. It was really fortunate that he managed to jump over the sliding tackle and had the agility, the pace, and the precision to bury it past Casillas and start off the goal scoring for us. But Eden has it with an amazing through ball, finds Neymar. Neymar hits it on his chest and hits it um, pretty much straight from the delivery. Fortunately for uh, Real Madrid, Casillas saved quite comfortably. But Ronaldo there gets up on the header, which I'm oh, I'm kind of spiteful at Leonardo. Ronaldo. He's the number 43 at the moment. <laughs> but we do give away a penalty in the 78th minute. And uh, the former number seven manages to step up. So he's gone to he's gone to United. He's gone to Madrid. He's gone to United, and he's come back to Madrid. And he misses an absolute shocking penalty there. <laughs> Fortunate for me, unlucky for them. And we end up winning the first leg against Real Madrid one 0 And I end up parking the fucking bus on that one. But guys, just to quickly recap the episode while I load up um, the next leg. And Falcao has the audacity to say this. My roller club. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting much game time. You're fucking left to PSG, you fuck. Like, <sighs> I'm really disappointed in you, Falco. I'm not. That's why I'm not giving you game time. Because I did bring in Robert Lewandowski. He's 29 years of age. Not that young. But I've, oh, Neymar's young. I want to give him as many games. And Gareth Bale. And De Bruyne. And you're leaving. Who cares? <sighs> I'm still bitter about that transfer contract saga, which we lost half the fucking team. Sorry about my swearing, guys. I'm just venting. But, guys, just quickly recap the last episode. Unfortunately, we end up losing the United, the Manchester derby. Not the United derby. 1-0, uh, which was disappointing. But we ended up redeeming ourselves, winning 2-1 over Liverpool. And it was Di Maria and uh, <laughs> Di Maria and Zaha coming off the bench and managed to save us, save our skins in the 90. With Zaha, who ended up getting uh, man of the match for it and scoring in the 90th. But before that, it was Neymar who scored the other goal. But to start off the scoring in this match against Real Madrid, it was the former Real Madrid player, Robert Lewandowski. Obviously, he was more famous at Bayern. But uh, what a ball here from Real Madrid. Managed to sneak Marcelo in. Uh, but the shot was uh, quite comfortably safe. But <laughs> Robert Lewandowski was absolutely tearing Madrid. He was so agile in this. And obviously, he bet the slide tackle, buried it in the last match. And he manages to get through one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And hits it, hits the post. I love those type of shots where they hit it on the right-hand side of the foot. Look at this. Nice little, like, <sighs> I don't even know what he did there. It wasn't even like a skill move. It was just like a, a nice diving, like a maneuver, just piece of play past him. And he manages to hit it with his right. Like, look how he was just nice, calm, and collective to make it 2-0 and 3-0 on aggregate. But if someone was going to score, he would be the former Manchester United player, Ronaldo. And uh, he's going to score like a prick. And uh, I've lost all faith in Ronaldo, seeing as he wouldn't sign that contract. 
fuck you, Ronaldo. <laughs> but hey, I'm, I'm not that bitter. I love Ronaldo in real life. But I just feel I'm still I'm still bitter. I am. I honestly am. That has never happened to me in the career. I've nearly lost my entire squad. Obviously, it could have gone a lot worse. I could have lost all my players and then not brought in Robert Lewandowski, Bale, De Bruyne, and, and whatnot. It could have gone a lot worse. We still lost Falcao. But uh, it's still very disappointing. But it's obviously spiced up this career mode. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. But Zaha, who ended up scoring in the 90th minute against Liverpool. Tried to get one here. But we quite comfortably end up winning 2-1 over Madrid. But Gareth Bale here beats the player. Now, look at this. Beats the second. This would have been a crazy goal if Gareth Bale ended up getting the shot off. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like to support this series and my channel, and I will be bringing out more Manchester United career mode tomorrow. Thank you once again, guys, and remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you watch this video. Make sure you fucking do. Goodbye.